Welcome to the middle of the Mojave Desert, more specifically, the Mojave Air and Spaceport. This is where 10 years ago, Scale Composites won the Ansari X Prize with its Spaceship One. And if all goes according to plan this week, this is where Astrobotic, the team from Pittsburgh, will be taking its next step toward winning the Google Lunar X Prize. This is a very important uh, historic place for X Prize. In 2008, I believe it was, uh, Maston Space Systems, where we are today, was the winner of the Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge, which was uh, in fact the same, the very same vehicle you see behind me, which is going to be used by uh, by Astrobotic for this test. We've been preparing for this test for the last uh, four years, about. Uh, this is uh, the culmination of a lot of hard work. I did the visual navigation. But we'll use a camera on board the lander and it takes pictures and I take the images and match them to a map. Each pixel in that map or each square in the map corresponds to some value in the real world, so latitude, longitude. I can use the image data, match up to the map, and then figure out where we are in 3D space using that data. So we can figure out where the lander is just using a single camera image and a map. Now we're standing on the place where the test itself should end, hopefully successfully. The land is going to take off about 300 meters in that direction, go straight up and then glide in at about a 25 degree angle. As it comes in, the lander is going to be using laser scanners to point straight down and figure out where the best place for it to touch down is. There are three concrete paths behind me. The lander itself will determine which of those is the best for it to use. You'll see the sandbags scattered around. Those are basically simulating boulders on the lunar surface. Obviously, it doesn't want to touch down on any of those. It's going to avoid those, pick the right concrete pad, and touch down gently. It, it could be quite difficult. They really haven't done it before commercially. They've done some prior tests uh, to this, so they have some pretty good confidence. But in general, uh, commercial companies don't normally do this. It's the R&D realm. We're landing near the Lacus Mortis pit on the moon. Uh, it's much rougher terrain than uh, where Apollo landed or any of the older Mars landings. We want to guarantee that we're going to be safe when we touch down. This test is just one component of Astrobotics overall lander development and mission development. The other sorts of things which the team is going to have to do before it can launch and land on the moon is complete the development of the other subsystems of its lander, such as propulsion subsystems, the structural subsystem, communications and things like that. So the judging panel is looking at those kinds of things as well. And eventually Astrobotics is going to have to buy a ride to the moon. Despite a series of setbacks, the Google Lunar X Prize judges were able to evaluate the Team Astrobotic landing system with Maston here in the desert, and ultimately we're still waiting to hear exactly whether or not that's enough to win them the milestone prize, but it was a big step forward in their ultimate plans for landing on the moon. Astrobotics is actually going to fly other teams to the surface of the moon, so there's no other team that is actually going to do that for the other teams. Uh, so that's an interesting approach. So they're taking other payloads with them as well as their own. For me personally, I'd really like to see my software be useful for pinpoint landing. That's really exciting. I'm Tim Stevens covering the Google Lunar X Prize for Senior.